So as you can see, we're on a little bit of a hillside here. It's a little bit of a tough install, but we've got three magnetometers uh, where these three tubes are sticking up. It essentially senses the Earth's magnetic field um, looking for changes in it. We think that those magnetic pulses occur approximately two weeks before a major earthquake, anything above a magnitude five or so. This device is an um, air conductivity sensor. It's uh, essentially two plates, one with a charge, one with ground, and as the air is drawn through the plates with a fan, it's essentially sensing if there's any conductivity um, in the air itself. We, we gather the data, uh, we filter out all of the noise, we uh, process it slightly, we store it on a memory stick, we then transmit the data through the uh, cell phone. We have to power this whole thing, so we have um, two 135 watt solar panels. Eventually, we have to get about 200 of these sensors in order to cover the entire state with sensors about within about a mile or two of the, of the major faults and then spaced about every 20 miles along the fault. And the reason for the spacing is that a magnetic signal is very, very small and it doesn't last very long in terms of distance, propagating distance. So if the epicenter of the earthquake is say seven or eight miles deep, the signal has to penetrate through that seven or eight miles of dirt and then if we happen to be 10 miles away from the epicenter, that's another distance it has to traverse. So we can only hear these signals about 10 miles away. That's the limit. So we place everything 20 miles apart. So it's kind of like a you know, needle in the haystack. The haystack is the noise and the earthquake signal is the needle. And uh, the needle is basically these little pulses that we're trying to count and the air conductivity that uh, is an indicator before the earthquake. The reason that we're going to uh, international locations is simply to find more earthquakes. Uh, there are not enough earthquakes in California to satisfy us. We need more samples of data. The more we have of these things out there and the more help we get to put these things out quicker, um, the faster we can develop this system into hopefully an operational uh, earthquake warning system.